Hello and welcome to another Billy Bintrup video I'm something different uh, today It's uh, Saturday morning A bit of overtime So I'm on, uh, I'm on the hook lifter On the big roll on roll off Eight wheeler Gaff This morning In a boat the hell So uh, yeah, this is the start of the morning, a wee bit of overtime, so not on a bin truck this morning. I'm in the council yard in uh, Troon, this is, uh, this is a local uh, tip for all the local residents. <coughs> Sorry, it's a busy wee yard. I've just been to Irvin, emptied a general. That I brought from the air yard. I'm just going to drop the empty one off just now and I'm going to see just exactly what one of these skips here they emptied. And I'll be going to Irvine, something called Lomac. So I'm just take this skip off just now and I'll see what is what. This is it. This is inside the DAF. This is a 66 plate, so this is due to go this year. We keep our, uh, our skip lorries a bit longer than the usual three years that we keep our bin lorries. So this has been with the council now for six years. It's just clicked 300,000 uh, kilometres that will be. So, yeah, an old DAF. So this is due to go this year I think and it's getting replaced with a Mercedes. This has been a very unreliable truck, very problematic. Uh, engine wise absolutely fine but sensors and warning lights in the dash and oh no idea. Very soft, very very soft. Uh, lots of sensor problems, lots of dash warning light problems. Engine wise yeah it's been reliable enough, but sensors, warning lights, uh, well, what else? <laughs> Pretty much everything that could go wrong, other than engine failure, has went wrong with this thing. So yeah, I think the council are, will be glad to see the back of it. That's quite a comfortable truck, but quite soft. So. I've got a skip in the back. So how it works is, there's a wee button in here, and your PTO, turn that on. Hear a wee noise. First things first, press this. That opens the, the clamp so it holds the skip on the back. That's it. You hear the warning beeper. This wee one here. Press that back. <coughs> That's your gooseneck as it's called. That'll stop about there. That's it. And this is your main lever here. Again you press that back, it's going away from it. That takes it off. So leave the handbrake on, get a wee rev to go a bit quicker. You leave the handbrake on until the, the wheels of the skip hits the ground. As soon as it hits the ground, that's it, handbrake off, and it'll push the skip, the skip will push the uh, lorry away, away from the skip. And it's the opposite way when you put it on. But that's fine, this has got a bit of a, an arse of a thing in the hook. There's an extra button to press, and it's got a wee clip in the hook that some it doesn't always uh, come off first time. Try again. So this, this wee button here, wee blue one, that's a pain in the arse. The actual hook has got a wee safety hook on it as well. And if you don't get the button right, when it hits the ground, it doesn't come off. Oh, you, can, you can be sitting for three or four attempts before the skip actually comes off. Anyway, that's that. So, go forward a wee bit. 
I'll just leave the hook down. Right. So, have a wee look. So that's the truck. A DAF. TA 306. As I say, it's a comfortable enough truck, but it's been it's been terrible. So yeah, I'm glad to see the back of that. So this is a council, what do you call it, recycling centre, dump, whatever way you call it. So on Prun, we seaside town, South Ayrshire, it's a few miles away from here. So that's all the skips. Two wood skips in the bottom. Metal, general, general, garden, cardboard, rubble. Yeah. I'll wheel the cup here. Check the rubble and the cardboard working their way down. There's also scrap metal. metal. So it's a busy wee yard this. Non-stop. Scottish weather, not like down south. These are general skips. Looks oh, alright. This one looks okay as well. Skips, they're always busy. I'd imagine one of these will need done. If not two. to the brim but I'll take it anyway and that'll give them that'll give them two empties so I'm probably looking at a wood and a metal the generals are okay So I'll pick up that wood, take that to Irvine, and a metal, that also goes to Irvine, so that'll do. I'll give him a couple just now. The council have introduced a new booking system in here. I think that's affected the numbers. I hear hearing from one of the guys that uh, it's a bit quieter than it used to be because of this. You've got to go online now and book a slot. You can't just turn up at the gate. It used to be, I've seen it uh, uh, queued right up the road. It's non stop in here. So the council wants to just a booking system, you've got to go online and do it. So that seems to be affecting the numbers that's coming in here. Uh, so, yeah. The downside of that is it could maybe just encourage fly tipping. We'll just get it lined up. And you hear all the warning beepers going off. 
close my hooks down. Watch that scat. And just line it up. Uh, and there's a wee camera here just to guide me in at the last. Give it a dunk. Strip. Neutral. Give it a wee lift. Make sure I'm in. Go back a wee bit. Give it a wee lift. I like to give it a wee a wee tug. <laughs> A wee tug forward, just to make sure it's, it's in. Because it's not in, it will fall off. But when you give it a wee tug forward. So that's on. Again, same as before. Now I'm, I'm putting the two joysticks forward. So the first one's the big one. This one here. Bring it forward. And that lifts it on. Handbrake off, in neutral. And the, and the skip will pull the... Uh, the truck into the skip. So you can see um, the truck's going back the way. As I lift the skip on, and just make sure you get the rails of the skip and onto the rollers. That's very important. As soon as it's on, handbrake on, just keep lifting it on. So none will happen now, that's it. It can't fall off. Bring it down, and then the wee gooseneck lever, again bring that forward, and the gooseneck it will pull it up, up to the headboard. Last but, uh, button is this one here, press that, you can hear the warning beepers off now, that's just got clamped in place, and the very last thing is shoot it. That's it on. So what I do is sheet it. This one here, they start back. The two levers, the them. And that's the skip on. Just check the back door, make sure everything's locked and secured. And that's it. So skip on, PTO off, and that's me, good for go. So, this is an automatic, as is the case of most trucks now. And I've updated driving trucks, were all manual. You get the odd automatic, but most of them are manuals. But nowadays, it's rare to see a manual truck. I'll probably do that metal one next, and that'll probably be this done. So, a wee drive to Irvine, which is only about 3 4 mile away. This is Troon, you see side town. It's going to be quite expensive uh, to buy a house in Troon. I don't really understand why myself, <laughs> it's a bit bland, but <laughs> it is quite expensive to buy a house here, for some reason, <laughs> don't know why, yeah. So this wee daft, it's a 370 horsepower, but as I was saying earlier, it's not a great truck. The, uh, the gearbox in it, that's the main problem, it's uh, designed for city driving in the city. So it robs the truck of power and it changes up the gears far, far too early. Uh, it's just no design for uh, the kind of work we do. It's just, yeah, it's a gearbox within the city. Uh, I can eco-tip gearbox. So 
So when he ordered the truck, I certainly came with the wrong gearbox. And it's a pain in the arse to put it bluntly. But as I say, it's going away. So replaced by a Mercedes. We've got a, another hook lifter, skip a lorry there, which is a, it's a demo. It's a Mercedes. So it's going to be something like that we're going to get when this one goes away. But yeah, for me it's comfortable enough. Uh, and the engine has never let us down. Just everything else has <laughs> went wrong with it. And they don't really get a hard life for the council, you know, they don't really get a hard life. I mean, we do watch shifts, but, so it's working for six in the morning to maybe nine o'clock at night, but, I mean, it's still going to take that, no problem. So this is Croon, well, a bit of Croon. Uh, yeah, how much you can really say about Croon, that's what it is. Yep. Somebody going to the beach in the water, but looks it. They're very brave. It's uh, 7 40 in the morning, 28. So, because I'm a spare driver, I drive everything that's part of the council fleet. Every truck that's in the cleansing department, I'll drive at some point. But most of my time spent in bin lorries, bin trucks. Uh, but this is probably the best job in the council, in the cleansing department anyway, driving this. You're on your own. Just go away and do your work. Nobody bothers you. And you get a wee run to Cumbernauld on the back shift every night. I'm actually going to Cumbernauld uh, this morning. We've got a few skips to do. Out of Irvine. And then go back to the air yard and hook on a food waste skip and take that to Cumbernauld just outside Glasgow. So that'll be a good wee run. I might film some of that. Uh, a company called Energen, that's where all the food waste goes to. It's getting quite warm, quite close. So, that's just a wee bit of uh, this morning filmed, so I shall probably cut this video short just now, uh, and I'll make another one later on this morning. I really need to try and edit my videos, make them a wee bit better, <laughs> try to get a bit better with the editing software, so I can add in stuff, cut them and paste and add music and all that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm not very good on the computer. <laughs> as my videos show. I hope you like the ones that are up so far. They're pretty basic, but they just give you an insight into, into driving some of the vehicles with the council. I'd imagine every council, I think it's pretty much the same no matter what council you drive with. I'd imagine it's very similar. Bloody roasting. Oh, it's better. Oh, back down again. So I just about to cross the border into enemy territory. <laughs> North Ayrshire. Oh, here we go. So yeah, the company we dumped this stuff in at is actually in North Ayrshire. Me short video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you like to like and subscribe, that would be great. You can thumbs up if you like this kind of content. So I shall sign off just now and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.